Hey guys, and welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. I am Cipher Cat, and today we are on level 2 of this dungeon. We have cleared out that monster zoo last episode. It was a horrific battle. Uh, it was it was truly horrific. There was just monsters, and it was a zoo, and this room is literally filled with loot. Well, maybe not literally. I mean, the outside isn't filled with loot, but aside from that, this room is literally filled with loot. So that's pretty cool. I like a loot room. I think anyone who plays a roguelike likes a good loot room every now and then. Uh, and statues to break. I mean... Oh man, who doesn't love to break statues? Let's just take everything and then let the inventory management system sort it out. Take it all, let inventory sort it out. Uh, X-ray specs. Not really that useful. It seems to be an alchemy thing. And that was a... Another thing I don't really care about that much. That's fine, we've almost filled up our inventory in one room. Bloody typical if you ask me, but oh well, let's move on. I've still got that uh, crate that seems to be bugged out. Maybe I shouldn't use crates when uh, my inventory is full. But you know, that that's a lesson we can all learn. Not to open a crate when you can't carry what's in the crate. So that's going to be there as my haunting reminder that I stuffed up. Great! Thanks game! I love a haunting reminder that I stuffed up because I don't get enough of those as it is. Uh, okay, passing loot fisk god, but I got no loot fisk for him. So let's not give any loot fisk to loot fisk god. And we eventually kick open a door. It took us our sweet time, but we got it in the end. I'm really liking Bankster. It seems like a really cool uh, skill. Mostly because of, oh, I wonder if I can, no. I can't night sleep through there. Oh well. I really like having that poison damage. It seems very useful. I mean, the bank's drawing money, not that great, but... You know, the fact that it can give enemies a debuff, that's cool. That's cool, too. Okay, we're just gonna kick to open... Oh, a purple diggle. I haven't found one of those before. I imagine it's the same thing as all the other diggles. Except, ah! except uh... Does... What's that damage called? Not necromancy, it's... It's got everything... Oh! A loot for cube. Nice! Alright, well now we know where to put my alcohol. All my alcohol goes into the loot for cube. Okay, let's open it. Now remember, never put the loot for cube in the loot for cube. That's important to remember. Now, alcohol. 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 We don't even need the money. Alcohol. Uh, what? No. Zap apple cider. No. Is that all my alcohol for now? That's all my alcohol for now. You know what? I don't need these traps either. I'm just gonna sell them. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, didn't miss one. Okay, great. So we're collecting loot fisk now. Great. Of course, if I get any loot fisk, I'll also put it in the loot fisk cube because it makes sense, doesn't it? Where else did you put? It will, of course, turn the loot fisk into loot fisk. Or is it loot flisk? You know, I forget. It's loot flisk. I'm probably saying it wrong, I believe the word is Norwegian. Um, someone explained to me once, it sounded uh, delicious. Oh? This is mana. This is like mana pickups. Right. I've been in here before, I've just realised. Uh, and I think there's this floor explored actually. Oh, that's disappointing. I like exploring floors. Well, maybe we'll have to just go to the next floor to make to recompensate us. Ah, no, I've missed an area over there. How do I even get to that area? I have to go down a floor, up a floor. It's the eternal mystery. How do you even get there? All right. Well, apparently I found it before, but I don't know how to get back. So I might just go down a floor and look. You know what, we're pretty brave adventurers, we don't need to worry about such minor details. What I should do is probably go up and sell my stuff, but that took a while to do it. Okay, so I'm now... Oh, I get extra 110 gold per floor, but... Okay, that's a clone, but it's a poorly cloned hero, so it's not too bad. See, I mean, he's going to die fairly quickly. I hope. Yeah, see those ones aren't the scary ones, it's the green ones I've got to worry about. Ah, palette shifted monsters. Truly the biggest threat in the world. Uh, there is an impossible astronaut here. 
I don't really want to be here, but now that I'm here, I might as well fight everything. I mean, the astronaut's not that strong, I can tell him. Oh, actually, I didn't really hurt him that much. Oh, it was just a bad shot. Okay. I was looking at the damage, it was like, you did two damage. I'm like, what? Two damage is not a lot of damage. As damages go, that's a small number. Uh, gelatinous wand. Cool. I don't know what a gelatinous wand does. Only way to find one of the... Only one way to find out, I suppose. Come on. Come over this way. I want to I want to see you when I turn you into gelatinous. Okay, fine. I'll just kill you over here. Ah, here he comes. Oh, cool. It's an acid wand. That's cool. Uh, ow. Acid. Uh, chest is broken. A burning time. That's not really that useful. Ooh, an axe keytar. Uh, if I used axes, that would be a lot more useful. But I don't use axes. But I did level. I am now the Blue Thunder of Freakin' High. That's a reference to something I don't know. Uh, let's see. I do want to get one more point in forgery. <laughs> in forgery. <laughs> because now I have level 4 forgery. Uh, yeah, so now I can make some really good weapons. If I had the mats for them. Maybe I should have got the mats first. Uh, that was an interesting lever. It just made poisonous cloud. And that made traps everywhere. That's cool. More traps just mean more experience, right? Oh, except that one. That one wasn't experience at all. That was just pain. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I thought that was a monster zoo again. I don't want to deal with two monsters. Although, logically, I will encounter two monster zoos. There's a high probability of encountering a monster zoo this episode. Because it's only not a monster zoo in level 1. Well, that's not true. Sometimes it is. But it's a small monster zoo. But, as it turns out, oh, it's just a whole bunch of robo bolt traps. They're not too scary because I know where they are. There's one more. There it is. Great. Alright. And is this the monster zoo? It's not. Oh. Damn it, I forgot the combination I wanted. There's a particular combination that's really good. Uh, but I've forgotten it, so I'm just going to do it wildly. I think growth and decay is top. I don't remember. I was wikiing this and everything. That's not the one I wanted. Uh, I stole... What did I steal? Vinyl discs. It'll leave a scratch. Ha ha ha. If you don't get it, don't worry. There's nothing to get. Okay, well we've got alcohol that we don't want, I suppose. There we go. Oh, I always thought that was loot flisk, but it was not. Candy vodka. I could really turn my gems into loot flisk, but what's the point? You know, uh, rings. I'm fine with rings. These makeshift bombs, not great. Loot flisk them. I mean, they're right, but they're. Actually, I might just go down a level and go find me that, uh,. Lootless God room again. Could even buy some softballs to give to Lootless God, but no. Well, why not? I've got all this money. I'm getting a lot of money as a bankster. I might even level that next. I've uh, been on there. You know what? I'm going to go on a short trip. I'm going to go and give all this Lootless away. See you in a second. Lootless for the Lootless God! Is that enough Lootless? Oh, wait! I might have enough. Loot Fisk for the Loot Fliss God! No, he's not happy. Alright then, Loot Fliss God doesn't want that much Loot Fliss. He wants more! More! Okay, back to level 3. Uh, well, that way doesn't seem to be that exciting aside from that uh, portal. So let's go this way. This way is probably a good way. Oh, poly cloned heroin. That's not a very good clone of me because you can tell it's a girl. And I am not a girl. That's a common mistake people make. It's really not. I've got offal here. I probably don't need the offal. Ooh, a ruby. Uh, the worst idea ever. Three grenades, copper wire. Oh, I haven't done any tinkering. I forgot about that. Ooh, hobbit boots. Uh, hobbit boots are better than what I've got right now. Great, hobbits can boot. Your inventory is full. All right then, my inventory is full. Uh, 
Fine. No. Put the put the flippy floppies down. Good. Good work. Okay, now let's put the offal in the loopless cube, because I don't want that. Flippy floppies. I can probably put them in the loopless cube as well, they're not worth a lot. I think we're about to make a trip to the old uh, wizard realm in a second. In fact, let's go to the wizard realm now. Good old wizard realm. That's it. This is where we keep all the stuff that we're going to sell. There's a lot of it too this time. Uh, then we've got our food that we don't particularly want. Oh, that's going to the Loopless Cube. Loopless Cube is hidden. Oh, sneaky Loopless Cube. I'm going to put you in a place where I don't particularly need you. There you go. You hide over there. There you go. Now we can just drag stuff over to you. Look at that. That's how things go to the Loopless Cube. Brilliant. Okay, anyway. uh, My gems. My gem pile is over here. It's growing too. It's good to have a gem pile. I could all just turn that into loot flisk for whatever reason. Oh, burnt out wand. I'm gonna loot flisk that. Great. Uh, all this meat. Actually, I'm gonna look at crafting for a second. I'm gonna see if I can encrust anything. So encrusting is sort of an enchantment on your items. It's not always great, but it's interesting. Oh, actually, I could give my Oh wait, no, I need five for that. Jeez, that's a lot. Uh, ooh, I could cross one of my weapons. Maybe. I don't think I've got enough for that. Oh, I do, actually. Now, I'm not sure what that seven is. I think that's like the chance of it breaking or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, of course, I can always iron plate my gear. That's a thing I could do as well. Oh, I could diamond crust my stuff. That'd be probably be good. You know, diamond encrusted stuff is good. Time Lord Scarf. No, I don't have a Time Lord Scarf. There's a whole bunch of ways I can craft, uh, crust things. Anything I can crust over here? Just plastic. I can make Gaga's glaze. I could Gaga's glaze my pants. Which will give me five extra health. You know what? Let's Gaga's glaze my pants. That's a gross thing to say. I must drop a suitable item into the encrusting window. Okay. Uh, that's not the one I want. I want to glaze my pants. Okay. I'm trying to. What am I doing wrong? I've never actually glazed anything before. Into the encrusting window, I am. I can only craft here. Well, wait. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's in there, derp. I see now. Okay, and I gargoyles glaze my pants. There we go. Encrusted pants. With meat. Okay, my pants now have meat on them. They're meat pants. Uh. Oh, cool. Okay, well, let's leave. Oh shit, something invisible there. It's a great pumpkin. I fought you before. I have fought you before too. You killed me last time, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna run away from the Great Pumpkin. As you should always do if you encounter a Great Pumpkin. Okay, and I'm going to enter the pocket dimension again. Okay, so back to encrusting. <laughs> okay, I've decided not to encrust anything further. Uh, but I can always encrust later. You know, that's the good thing about crusting. Or encrusting, rather. You can always recrust. When it's time to crust, you're like, haha, it is time to crust. I'm really not sure where I'm going with that, but hey, when am I ever? <laughs> okay, rubies. Put the ruby down. Put the, put the ruby down. Go on. Good work. Alright, let's go fight that great pumpkin. I was kind of hoping for a asset problem there, but we did not get that. Oh, he's probably there. No, he's nearby. Whoa! Why did you come back to life? Did the Great Pumpkin do it? Okay, Great Pumpkin hurts. Maybe he'll die in there. I could be being too hopeful there, that he'll die in his own attack. 
Okay, I got plenty of health. We're still okay. 2,000 experience. Nice. That's what you should get for killing a great pumpkin. Also destroying a little boy's hopes and dreams. I used to like Linus. He was an alright character in Peanuts. Uh, Caltrops. Don't particularly want to pick them up just yet. Grog. Grog. Loot flisks into the loot flisk cube. Makes things convenient. Uh, I've frozen my account. Disappointing. And bad timing. But it's okay. And there is a blobby. I hate blobbies. Okay, no, it doesn't even want to fight me. It's afraid of me. So damn well it should be. I've got, like, two swords. And... Oh, a chocolate croissant. It looks nothing like a chocolate croissant. But hey. I will gladly take a chocolate croissant any day of the week. Candy vodka. Yeah. Let's just go through here real quick. Oh, okay. Oh! If I remembered that passageway later, that'll be actually quite interesting. I won't remember it, but if I did, it would be pretty good. Because I'd just be able to run from one side of this level to the other. Gold! Nice! Gold is good. Alright, well that's going to be useful for crafting soon. And there's a whole bunch of diggle eggs and a candy cane wand. Don't remember what that does. I think I've used it before. Uh, Alright then. And we're trying to kick down the door. Oh, it contains octos. And a pink one. The pink one's the leader. So let's teach him that he's a dick first. Alright, pink one's down. Uh, I just always use Bankster whenever I, uh, the high interest loan whenever I notice it's up. And this is a crafting room, unfortunately not a smithing room. I mean, it's a, it's a mana free ability, I should be using it whenever. You know, and it recharges fairly quickly, so... Uh, I hear the machine, it sounds of machinery. Okay, and a blobby. Great. Uh, we've got an evil clone. Get some money. <laughs> and a gin. Just a lot of killing right now, today. A lot of killing. And some coal. That's nice. I need that to make steel. Other things I need is chalk and uh, iron. Right now I got coal, so you know, coal is good. And that should give me fire powers. It did. I am infernally empowered. Yes. Now I should burn all that I touch. First I'm going to sneak down here. Oh, there's a thrusty down here. In fact, this is definitely not where I want to be. Okay, we'll leave. But not before grabbing an extra hundred gold that I didn't necessarily need. Okay, this is a monster suit. No, it's not. I just guess everything is a monster suit now. It seems... A logical course of action to just freak out over every little thing. But I mean, I've, I've got some good AoEs to deal with the monster zoo next time, so... Yeah, should be alright. I mean, I've got this uh, gelatinous wand. That's gonna uh, burn the hell out of anything. The main threat of Monster Zoo, despite the large number of monsters, is the fact that there are like two or three, like, not unique, but strong monsters in there. A double razor sword. Nice. Ooh, and an amulet. Doubly nice. Okay, well, let's take the razor sword. I may actually want to be using that. Uh, and I'll look into that in just a second. Right. Ooh, and another sword. Damn. Getting all the swords right now. Okay, well, anyway, let's sort my inventory and let's just see what I've got. So a double razor sword does eight slashing damage. It's better than my iron sword and it's much better than my rough steel sword, so let's replace that with that for now. Getting a bit extra damage and this Gladius does seven. Which again is better and it also gives me an extra critical, so the weapons I crafted last or a couple of episodes ago, now sort of out of action for now, but that's fine. 
And this uh, amulet is amazing. So I'll put that down there. And I will turn this into loot flisk. Loot flisked. Great. Loot flisk all the things. And we're good. Okay, we're now stronger than ever before. Brilliant. I like to be stronger. You wanna... Oh, hello. And I picked up some copper? Or was it some brass? I don't know. Bronze! Even better than copper. Okay, let's go up here. Because maybe... <gasps> this led me into that secret room I couldn't figure out how to get to before. It's not actually a secret room, but... Whatever, I'm here now. And also, these mobs should be really easy to kill. Except you. Did I have a quest up here? No. Alright, well... Cool. My inventory is full. Alright then. Okay, I'm just gonna eat that puffball. She give me three puffballs, which I'll then put in my inventory. Uh, this muffin is actually pretty good. This giant muffin with raisins, which is actually worse than the giant blueberry muffin, so we don't particularly need that. And back to the pocket dimension! And leave the pocket dimension again, having done nothing in it! Okay, and we're back. There was nothing happening in the pocket dimension, it was just... Inventory stuff. Oh, more gold, though. That gives me three gold total. That's actually really good. And... nothing down here, probably. Oh! This stuff. I may actually come back here. I'm almost getting to the point that I want to start thinking about maybe I want to use my, uh... Altar of Krong, Anvil of Krong that I found before. But what would I use it on? My necklace? It'd be on some I want to use it on something that I don't think I'll replace. That necklace I can actually imagine me replacing it with something better. Something that's like ten stars or eight stars, something good. At this rate I may never replace it though. Alright. So we're done here. Let's do a little bit more exploring and then let's uh, call it a day. Actually, let's check level 4. Oh, it's another one of these Gladys. Oh, it's a magical Gladys. It's called Mast Wee, the unsettling breakfast cereal. Let's go get it. With Knight's Jump. Oh, this sword is actually really good. So it's like the Gladys from before. Uh, it does 7 damage, but it also gives me plus 1 to nimbleness. So let's switch that around. Which gives me plus one stealth. Great. That's good. Oh, I'm glad that I just snuck down here. And having snuck down here, I think I might sneak away and end this episode. So thanks for joining me, guys. And join me next episode, where we continue to explore this floor and inevitably find that monster suit where it'll kick our ass. I don't know about you, but I'm both excited and scared. See you next time, guys.